junior librarians. The aliens have given me a new name, and it's Zog. Greetings from Zog. I'm your host for today's 3CK program. Today's big idea is God provides for us even when we don't deserve it. That's right. So sit back, fasten your intergalactic seatbelts as we take off for an adventure in the galaxy. <laughs> Mom! Mom! Gosh, Theo, I think you burst my eardrums. What's the matter? Look, there's no chocolate chips in my cookies. Didn't you notice? Mom! I just thought they were sugar cookies. They still taste great. Hmm, I wanted chocolate chip cookies. Uh, maybe we should just be thankful for freshly baked cookies, Theo. I just had my heart set on chocolate chip. Theo, you kind of sound like the Israelites right now. What do you mean? Remember when God rescued the Israelites from Pharaoh? Yeah. Here, God did this amazing miracle. Many miracles and all they could do was complain about not having the same food they did when they were slaves. Uh, and you think I sound like that? Yep. But they whined and complained. Yep. Oh man. I hate it when you're right. <laughs> Leave it to you to set me on the right path. Thanks, Sabrina. I love my mom, and I don't want to be a complainer. Good job, Theo. Hey, why don't you have a cookie? Thanks. <laughs> Three Carson's Kids Preschool! 486,999! 486,990! Ah, oh, Mom, this is still not enough. Uh, what's going on here, Phil? The silence is Miss Paladin. Oh, I'm so sorry. But what's up with all the toilet paper and the sunflower seeds? Oh, I don't know. We're going to run out while we're sheltering in place. So I took every sunflower seed back off the shelves and all the grocery stores in their house. Wow, uh, I can see that this is really worrying you, Phil. Maybe I should fly farther. No, 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 wait. First, I think it might be wise to do our message for today. Oh, okay. Uh, there are a lot of things that we can be worried about, especially lately. Like not being able to see everyone we want to right away. Or thinking that Christmas won't be the same as it was before. Or even worrying that we don't have enough. Well, today's story tells us about people going through a very similar thing. Let's go to our book to see for ourselves. The Israelites were just rescued. Now they were walking in the desert wilderness. It was very hot. They were tired and they were so, so hungry. Instead of remembering all that God had done for them, well, they decided to grumble and complain. The Israelites said to them, to Moses and Aaron, we wish the Lord had put us to the death in Egypt. There we sat around pots of meat. We ate all the food we wanted, but you have brought us out into the, this desert. You must want this entire community to die of hunger. Exodus sixteen three. So you know what God did? Well, he had food rain down on them from the sky. It was called manna. But he told them for six days to gather enough to eat for the day. If they saved any, well, they would be maggots. Then on the seventh day, they don't have to gather any food. And that would be the Sabbath, a day of rest. God was showing them that he could provide for what they needed, that they didn't need to save up just in case. Well, some of them disobeyed, and sure enough, the food was rotten the next day. Even after seeing that God provided them food to eat, the Israelites started grumbling and complaining again. Their hearts were not thankful for everything God was doing. This time, they said they were so, so thirsty. So they told Moses they weren't happy with him. They said, why did you bring us out of Egypt? Did you want us, our children, and our livestock to die of thirst? Exodus 17.3 God told Moses to strike a rock, and from it water would flow, enough for everyone. God's people didn't starve or die of thirst, but the people would forget so easily 
all the things that God had done for them and was doing for them still. God provided for them for 40 years in the desert. Even though they grumbled and complained, he showed them grace by giving them exactly what they needed. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll double. The lizards are allowed for complaining and worrying, but they wouldn't have what they wanted. Kind of like how I was complaining about not having all the kinds of sunflower seeds and the right kind of toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Really, I should trust that God provides for me and thank him for what I've had. Yep, you got it, Phil. Did you see how the Israelites complained about the things they didn't have? They forgot what they did have. Let's take some time this week to look around and see what God has given you. Every good and perfect gift is from above. It could be something simple that you don't even realize until you take time to think about it. Then remember to say a prayer to thank Him. The Israelites were grumbling and complaining. They couldn't see that God was giving them everything that they needed. Maybe it wasn't exactly what they were asking for, but it was more than enough. We can get so wrapped up in worrying about what we don't have that we forget to take a look around at what we do have. Today's story is a great reminder of our big idea of the week. God provides for us even when we don't deserve it. And you know what? This is also what Christmas is about. You mean God gives us things like goodies and candles and stuff? No, because God provided for us a savior. God came down to earth to be a person just like us. He was Jesus and he would pay the price for our sins. And God did this for us out of love, not because we deserved it. It's a free gift. That's our memory verse of the month. John three sixteen. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. That is the real miracle of Christmas. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you so much that you always provide for us, that whatever is happening in this world, we know that we can trust in you, Lord, just as the Israelites were in the desert. You were there for them. You are here for us. Thank you so much for giving us Jesus and let us remember what a miracle that was and what a special gift it is to have him, especially with Christmas coming up. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. People are hungry and mean. They're going to eat, start eating this whole shit before long. They're actually saying they'd rather be slaves. What am I going to do with them? Please help me, Lord. I'm just going to sit here and listen and wait for a word for the Lord. Yes, I can. Okay. God's going to provide some food. It's going to spoil. 
And on the sixth day, we're supposed to collect twice as much, okay? Because on the seventh day, we're just going to rest. <sighs> just rest. Um, and it won't spoil on the sixth day, okay? So it'll carry over. Me too. What exactly do you mean by collect? I don't know. And in case you haven't noticed, we're on a transport ship where we can get food, doofus. Yeah. Look, I don't know how God's going to do it, but he's going to provide. All I know is we're supposed to go out at night and in the morning and collect it. God will provide. He always keeps his word. Yeah, like God can provide food for us on a transporter ship in the middle of outer space. Look! Look! I'm not touching that. Me neither. What is it? in the next 40 years, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd, 3CK. Oh, well, God provided. We're thirsty! Did God bring us all the way out to outer space just to let us die of thirst? We know you're in there! Come out, you coward! We're dying with thirst! Don't make me come in there! What's next? of Goshen? Will they ever be satisfied with what God provides? Will they ever stop complaining? Join us next week for the final episode of Mo in Space. Thanks for watching today, Junior Space Rangers. I hope... Oh, hold on a minute. Haha! <laughs> Let me translate. I'm being reminded that you should memorize your verses, keep reading your Bible verses, and whoop, do your map. <clears throat> Hold on, there's more. I'm hearing the word prizes. There's prizes for the winner. So send in your videos for saying your memory verses, doing the super challenge, and hold your maps to kids at threecrosses.org. Stay safe and wear your protective headgear. Zal, out. <laughs>